Hey everybody, this is Pistol Pete, and I wanted to make a video about him and kind of his story, how he became my favorite boy. Um, so, as you can see, he's a miniature schnauzer, and he loves attention, and he loves life. Huh, Pistol? So, the way we got him is kind of an interesting story. Our miniature schnauzer, Josie, was actually stolen. Um, from us so since my mom's a dog groomer when these people contacted her and seemed just clueless they didn't know if their dog was a miniature schnauzer or standard or giant they were just clueless they didn't have a name for him um, so my mom was of course like you know just bring him in hoping it would be Josie it obviously Pistol Pete is not a girl schnauzer it doesn't quite have the right parts but that's okay um, so they brought him in, um, and then they had told my mom that he was a Mother's Day present for their mother-in-law, and she didn't want a miniature schnauzer. She wanted a different kind of dog, but hopefully she would be fine and just take him anyways. Uh, at that point, my mom had told them if it doesn't work out with the mother-in-law, she will take him and give him a good home. Um, so within the first year of Pistol's life, he actually went through six different homes. And then they contacted my mom, um, and they asked if she wanted him at that point. And they were like, oh, well, he's, he looks really bad. He needs a haircut. We don't know if you want him. And she's like, um, dog groomer, I think I can handle it. Um, it was actually really sad though. When she found him, his eyes were just kind of dead. Like he had given up on life. And his hair was just matted. Like, you clearly could not do this because it was just all mats in his hair. And she had to basically shave him down to nothing and start over. And he was so grateful to get that second chance at life and to find someone that loved him. He used to just follow her around all day. And then um, how he became my favorite boy was actually interesting so he was living with my mom at the time um and i tore my acl i had reconstructive surgery and had to move back in with my parents which is in the middle of the nowhere they have a farm and it's kind of just out there and so i was there couldn't really move or get around um i was pretty miserable myself like i was just bored. You can only read so many books and watch so much Netflix before you just, you need a break from all of it. And so Pistol Pete was my break. You know, he was so happy as soon as I let him up on the bed. He was not allowed on the furniture when we first got him. Um, as you can see, that's changed. But he was so happy he would lay on his back and kick his little legs. He looked like a little bunny rabbit because he was so happy. And all he wanted to do was just be by me and just he just made me so happy like he made me forget about everything else and from that moment on he has been my favorite boy uh, he's always been there for me so I definitely love him with all my heart and spoil him he's actually an emotional support animal for me um, so since he's a service animal I can take him anywhere with a few limitations but, like, we go grocery shopping, and he absolutely loves it. He used to be really scared of kids. Um, the original, like, couple that were giving him to his mother-in-law, they kept him for a while, and they had this little bratty child who would, like, pick him up by, like, his skin and just grab him and just pick him up like that. And they were just really nasty people, so he had a lot to you know overcome and get through and he did because he's just been such a wonderful boy and he loves going anywhere with me like we can go for a ride yeah that got him excited that's his favorite thing to do and he knows once I put his vest on that means that we're gonna go for a ride and we get to go in somewhere um, so I definitely spoil him hi baby bear come on let's get up so come here I'm gonna pick him up and right here, I actually have all of his clothes and his outfits. Let me turn this. Um, so we're huge Star Wars fans, if you can't tell. And he actually absolutely loves his outfits. He gets treats. He does not like hats. 
Um, so I have this little monkey butt pajamas. I have this little sweater vest, which I think he's adorable in. Some little kid called him old in it. Don't know about that child, but um, he has a vest. He has a little Chewbacca suit. He has BB-8. I'm sorry, this is all moving. He has a Christmas sweater. He does have an R2-D2 one, but I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, he also has this Yoda one. And then he also has his Santa Claus one. So those are just his clothes and his outfits. Oh, he also has another little tie right here. And he had a birthday bow tie, but that kind of fell apart, so I have to fix that one. So that's that. Pistol, come here. All right, and so those are just his clothes. Pistol, come on, let's go to your kennel. So Pistol has two kennels. As you can see, there's some toys on the floor because he has a bunch of toys. So in here, this is considered his kennel. This is our bathroom. So he has a large dog bed in the bathroom. And then he also has his food and his little bistro water bowl. Come on, Pistol, let's go. All right, and then ignore the other toys on the floor. This is, I call this his jail cell. Um, as you can see, he has a little dog bed in there. And it's too small for him, but he still loves it. Hi, huh, baby bear. And then he just has a little tie blanket. Um, on the side here, I have a little travel thing of food. You can pull it out. It's a little dark over in the corner. So this is his food. And then he also has um, a tin for his treats. As you can see, see he wants a treat now. Hi, baby. I suppose you can give a treat. Oh, no. I think you earned one. You're pretty cute, huh? Yeah, you're a handsome boy. You get treats for being adorable. He also does tricks, but he's cute, so it's hard to make him sometimes. Um, on top here, I have, I groom him myself. Like I said, my mom's a dog groomer, so it's kind of pointless to pay someone when she showed me how to groom him. Um, so more grooming supplies, more grooming, more treats. He also has greenies. Um, and then he has these, which he really likes. I really like the greenies because they help clean his teeth. He has a little brush in here. Also for his teeth, um, I get him like water additives just to help him. He hates when I brush his teeth. So to me, that's a little bit better. And then I have this box. 